We've talked to you so much about Gary Sanchez, both offense and defense, the past couple of weeks. Nice to see things click for him a little bit offensively tonight. Yeah, it was. Um, to see the power come back. Um, again, even the first at bat where I think he fouled out, um, I kind of made a comment like it looked more like his swing. He was in the zone, and then he was able to, to, to get some results. It just seemed like there was a little more comfort up there, a little bit more just Trust, trust your ability, trust your plan, and uh, it, it was nice to see. What do you attribute that to? You know, in the end, I, I attribute to he's really talented, he's really good, but, you know, hitting's hard and can be fickle and, and, and uh, <clears throat> you know, can get even really good hitters down a little bit. And you, you just got to gotta have that fine line between really caring and really pouring into it but but once you go out there kind of letting it rip and just go and i thought he did a good job of that today you mentioned good hitters he even can get down a little bit did you sense at all that he's feeling the pressure to produce the, the way you guys maybe would have imagined coming into the season um i don't know i mean uh, look i think every player feels that to some degree and, and certainly great players when you're you know a lot high expectations i'm sure there's a level of that but I've, i haven't felt like it's it's been overly an issue with him as far as you know i think he's just struggled to kind of find his way a little bit offensively and dug himself a hole and um you know i thought he was really good um you know, we had the long inning there, and, and he came out and maybe lost his edge there a little bit and, and had the struggles in whatever third, fourth inning, whatever it was. Um, but what I liked is he regrouped and uh, was able to finish finish strong there. Obviously, his pitch count because of that inning got driven up, so he couldn't get real deep into the game. But overall, I thought he threw the ball well. Here in the last three starts with him, do you see indications that maybe he's closing in on what you saw the first half out of him? Sure. Yeah, I, I think there's no question that he's feeling much more comfortable. Um, I go back to, you know, I think the shape of the slider has been much more consistent, much more predictable for him. Uh, you know, the stuff has been there. The changeup continues to be a factor. And, and really, again, you know, that long inning where there were a couple pitching change where we scored the seven runs, you know, I think he lost a little bit of that edge, which cost him getting probably a more dominant deep outing today. But um, I think he is getting a little bit of that swagger back and, and I think pitching with more confidence. Do you think Gary's problems on either side of it carried over to the other side? Like did the defense bother his hitting, hitting bother his defense? Um, I, I don't know. I, 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 do, I do get back a little bit to uh, I think he's doing a lot more good things behind the plate than, than certainly he gets credit for. Um, but but I think just in, in kind of watching him and watching him work behind the scenes, um, there's no question that, you know, I'm sure to some degree he's down a little bit, but I haven't sensed a, a frustration or, a, you know, you know, any kind of demeanor behind the scenes that would suggest that anything's carrying over. I think he understands how important it is behind the plate to be invested. Um, and he also understands when he's going well how, how important his bat is to our lineup. And, and I don't think that's wavered. Seems like you've been given Tarpley a little bit of a look. What do you like about him? Yeah, I mean, you know, struggled obviously his first big league outing but since then has really found a little bit and he's a problem for left-handed hitters and you know I think he in that Boston series I think he punched out maybe three guys in a row three lefties in a row and you and you see he's coming in pounding the zone and that sinker co combined with the slider it, it makes for a problem for lefties it's why he kind of got on our radar this year um, down in the minor leagues with the kind of year he had and and he's pitching himself into the conversation here this, this.